Tom McDonough, Chris Spielman, Rob Stone, and we are delighted to welcome to the broadcast the outstanding men's basketball coach at Notre Dame, back-to-back -back Big East Coach of the Year. There he is, Mike Bray. <laughs> but here is proud Papa tonight. Very proud. What a what a thrill for our family to be able to get up here and see the MAC championship game and see my son Kyle play. I, you know, Turner Gill has done such a great job with this program, Sean. Well, he certainly has. And I know as a coach, you can really appreciate the work he's done. Gary Rice, the catch. What's more nerve-wracking, Mike? You've coached in a lot of big games, national championship games when you're at Duke, and now at the Notre Dame, the premier conference, the Big East. But is it more nerve-wracking to be here and kind of helpless, just an onlooker? It's not even close. Watching your son play is much more nerve-wracking. I was at their four overtime game against Akron a couple weeks ago. I told Coach Gill, you're killing me. <laughs> I have nothing left for my team because I've been riding you guys in overtime for about four months. <laughs> well, I talked to your wife, Tish, the other day. She said she knew this was going to happen because Kyle is one of those young men. Wherever he goes, good things <laughs> seem to happen. Starks is tripped up by B.J. Hill. How's Kyle enjoying his experience at the University of Buffalo? Sean, it's been just amazing. You know, he was part of Turner Gill's first recruiting class. And, you know, as a coach, I always want to look and parents to say, boy, I'm going to send myself to Mike, to send my kids to Mike, and they'll be in good hands. Turner Gill has done a great job with my son. Forget the football. He's a heck of a football coach. But being around Turner Gill, the person, has been a real positive experience uh, for Kyle. And that's so important to Turner Gill. He refers to his work as a coach as a ministry in part. He's a man of considerable faith. Swing pass now to Starks, and he has some running room. And another first down for Buffalo as he's pushed out at the 41-yard line. Bryant Haynes made the tackle for Ball State, but it's a 16-yard gain. And Drew Willey has the Bulls on the move again. Six and a half to go in the half, tied at seven. Hey, Coach, what are some of the, uh, the correlations between basketball and football as far as the things that are, are common with both sports? Well, you know, I'm sure there's a lot with quickness and training and everything, but you know one of the positive things with Kyle is he's got his own identity in football, and, you know, he kind of grew into that body and became much more of a football player to the point where I can't screw him up because I don't know anything about <laughs> football. So that's the healthy thing about him playing football. And you know what I didn't realize, Mike, is the pass is incomplete intended for Rice. Until we started preparing for this game, I had heard, obviously, of the University of Buffalo. I did not realize what an outstanding academic institution this is. You know, it's a part of the same association with a lot of the best state universities in the country, like the University of Michigan, the AAU. I think that's what really sealed the deal for my son. I, you know, it's a great school. I know he's getting a great education, beautiful campus up there. You know, he's met people from all over the country, which I think has been important. So, you know, you want your kids to have a, a total positive experience on and off the field. I've just been so happy that he's had that at Buffalo. Willie's in trouble, and he's sacked by Bryant Haynes. First sack of the night for Ball State. And it's a big one back to the 32 yard line a loss of nine. Here's what you have you have a two men where they're matching up man to man outside with two safeties deep then bringing Brian Haynes from the inside and he just keeps working and working and working hugging up on the back. Once the back blocks number 49 Brian Haynes closes on the back sees that he's occupied then you move in for the kill and just like he did getting a sack and a big play for his Cardinal defense. He's a standout. On that defense, senior, 39th career start, an Ohioan, wants to be a football coach. His brother's coaching at Division Three. Adrian. Mm. Screen, and it's dropped they had by it. Naaman Roosevelt. Mike Bray, I know you've had a busy day. Your team's playing tomorrow at ESPNU against Chris Spielman's Buckeyes. So uh, did you travel to Indy with your team and then come up here? We bust down this afternoon, had a great practice, 2 to 3.30, and... Uh, in uh, Lucas Oil, and I was able to get up here this evening. I'll be back tonight. We have a shoot around at 9:30, and we play the Buckeyes at four. Great challenge for us down in Indy. Well, it is Jimmy V week, and I'd be remiss if I did not commend you and your lovely wife Tish for all the work you've done with Coaches Versus Cancer. It's a great organization. Well, Sean, thank you. It is. It's such a positive thing, and the South Bend community has done such a great job rallying and raising funds. But uh, I know it's a big week with the uh, anything we can do to. Knock off this dreaded disease of cancer is a is a positive thing. We appreciate the visit. Continue your great work. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Sean. See you soon. Take Thanks, care, Coach. guys.